Well, day one of the Carolina Classic Fair should have been well underway at this hour, but Ian just threatened all of that fun. And now that the fair leaders are now deciding to delay that start until tomorrow, our Jackie Pascal spoke with them about the impact of that announcement. Yeah, fair leaders say it's disappointing having to push back all the festivities by a day, but it might also present an opportunity to highlight places like this. I'm inside the education building here at the fairgrounds and so many different kinds of arts and crafts are on display and we are undercover out of the rain. So while people think of the rides and fried food, you can still indulge in those, but this is an agricultural fair. So a rainy day visit looks maybe more like seeing the animals or those award winning local produce. Overall, fair leadership says the economic impact of delaying opening day should even out over the next nine days. So even though it did delay, you know, a couple of things with the beginning of the fair, we're hoping that with the beautiful weather that's going to be coming, you know, Tuesday through Saturday, hopefully Sunday of next week, we'll be able to make up for that economic impact as far as heavier crowds here. The fair has been around for a long time and we've seen a lot come and go as far as the weather here at the fair. So it's a necessary adjustment and we had to do it for the safety of our patrons. So it's not something we're, we're frustrated about. It's just a little adjustment we had to make and we're really excited for the rest of the fair. And advanced sale prices also will continue on through midnight tonight. Normally they would have run out at midnight on Thursday. So you do still have a little bit more time to snag that deal. You can find more information at our website, WXAI12.com. At the fairgrounds, Jackie Pascal, WXAI 12 News.